student and football player from West Charlotte gunned down in a room full of people. It's been two years since the murder of Travis Moore, and there's still no arrest. Tonight, News Channel 36 reporter Beth Shane spoke with his mom, who has a new plea for help. Well, Sonia, there aren't just no arrests in this case. There are no leads. Everyone involved in the investigation says somebody knows who killed this young man. They just have to start talking. Watching Helen Moore tend to her son's grave. He wanted to be an emergency room doctor. You get just a sense of the doting mom she was to Travis. Mm -hmm. And if he would have lived, he would have been. A good kid headed to college. It all vanished at a party February 18th, two years ago. I don't know what happened, how it happened, why it happened, who it is or what it was. But whoever it was had to have a monster in them for him to just walk in a house of over 30 some people and just shoot. People have information. The police are convinced the whole case will open up if and only if witnesses start talking. The kids that were present at this party will step forward and, and give this young man justice. His mom says she can't help but think about who Travis was growing up to be. He would have been having fun, enjoying life, dating probably numerous of girls. It's a comfort in the dark moments, but it's not justice. She says she can't find that until the case is closed. And I've gotten through the grieving part, but the pain of not having someone arrested for it is the hardest part. If you know anything at all about this case, you're asked to call the detective directly at the number you're seeing on your screen. That number is 704-336-6039. Live with our mobile newsroom at police headquarters, Beth Shane, News Channel 36.